All right, you guys, what's up? <laughs> what's up, YouTube? It is your boy, JB, and we are here today with the review for Insecure Season 5, Episode 5. The episode was titled Surviving, okay? This episode, I will say, was much better than last week's episode. Like, I really enjoyed this episode. Now, my notes are not that lengthy, but the episode, this one, really, really top-notch. It was, you know, I think... I think one thing for me is going into season five with this being the final season of Insecure, I think with this being a final season, I think I just had my expectations just a little bit really, really high. And I'm not saying that I'm lowering my expectations any, any, any bit. I'm not lowering my expectations, but I am bringing my expectations down a little bit, right? Because I, was, I, was, I, don't, I don't really know what I was expecting, but my expectations were, I, I will admit, I had high expectations. I was... I had high expectations. I, I did. But overall, this was a good episode. So before we get into the review, if you guys are watching this video or any other on the channel and are not yet subscribed to the channel, I'm going to need you guys to do me a big, huge favor. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Turn your notifications on. Share the video. And you guys, with that out the way, without further ado, let's discuss Insecure, shall we? All right, you guys. So the episode, we open up the episode and we see Molly Molly was having sex, but I thought Molly was, you know, you know, you know, I thought she was grooving on a man's Johnson, but no, Molly was grooving on a man's face. She was in his face, in his face until she got to her climax. Now, while she's doing that, her phone, I don't know why I'm still moving like, uh, I don't know why I'm still doing that. <laughs> while she was you know gyrating on his face <clears throat> her phone <laughs> her phone was going off right so it's her dad it's her brothers right they're texting her so then we see molly go to the hospital so when she gets to the hospital we find out that her mother is in a hospital so then the doctor comes out and the doctor tells molly and her family that it's time for them to say their goodbyes to her mother <laughs> i'm laughing because of this scene right I'm not laughing at that because that is serious, you know, because I've been in that position where the doctor actually, yeah. Well, when it was time for me to say my last goodbyes to my mom, my mom was already gone by that point. So she wasn't there. But with my grandmother, the doctors actually came and told us to say our final goodbyes to my grandmother because she was still in her room. She was unconscious, but she was fit. She was still there, but she was fade and go away at that point right so then they take molly and her family to the room where her mother is right they look at that woman like that is not our mother like how old do you think and 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 the day like how old do you think i am like that is not my wife it is this old gray-haired woman i'm like so y'all think all black people look like her okay so then a nurse comes in he's like yeah i actually have her family and they're right there and they turn around and they're like sorry for your loss like so sorry for your loss all right you guys so we're gonna keep going forward so we see isa so isa she spent the night at nathan's so nathan comes in in his drawers and i'm like wow he looks very awkward just saying so then you know Issa is asking him what he got planned for the day. He had two um, clients that canceled on him, so he doesn't have anything planned, you know, until later in the day when he has to go into the shop. She didn't have anything planned because Koya, she was supposed to meet up with Koya, but something happened with Koya. And then she's supposed to have, you know, lunch with Molly, but you know how Molly is. Molly can cancel sometimes. So he's like, well, shit, let's go. Like, you, you know, you don't want to waste a free reservation. So then she's like, she calls Molly and she asks Molly like, hey, you know, what you doing? Reading a book because, you know, you're always reading shit. And that's when she finds out about Molly's mom being in the hospital. So we're going to pause here, you guys, and we're going to move forward. Now, I will say that when you look at Issa and Nathan, now I'm not a I'm not team Issa or I mean, I'm not team Nathan and Issa. I am team Daniel and Issa. I know Daniel is not coming back, but I'm team Daniel and Issa. I go up for Daniel and Issa. That's my that's my couple. I like Daniel and Issa. I know a lot of people like Daniel and um not Daniel, but Issa and Lawrence. 
I will say I'm Daniel and Issa, Issa and Lawrence, and Issa and Nathan, they in the pits of hell. Let's move forward, you guys. What the hell is going on? All right, you guys. So we see Issa, she, you know, Nathan drops her off at the hospital. This scene is still awkward with them, right? Now, Nathan told Issa before, right? He had plans to go to the shop later. And, you know, he was like, but if you need me to come back and get you, I can get you. She's like, oh, I don't want you to put your day on pause for me, which that's how I am as well, right? But it was just awkward with those two, right? So she goes up there with Molly. She's talking to Molly. Now, before, at one point, um... I think I might have missed. I don't know if I'm ahead of myself or behind myself. I know at one point in the episode, Molly was talking to the nurse, right? And she told her that, you know, the nurse could talk to her, you know, because of her dad right now. He's just, you know, he's going through a lot. So, you know, Issa was talking to Molly and they were just having a conversation. And Issa noticed Molly's freakum dress she had on, right? She was like, girl, do you want me to go back to your place and get you a change of clothes? She was like, yeah, because um, this one guy, he whistled at me. Girl, I mean, I, I think he whistled at me. He could have, you know, he could have been wheezing. But either way, go, yeah, I need some new clothes. So Issa was like, well, how about I just give you what I got on and then I'll go back to your place and get something else, right? So they go to the bathroom and they change it. Issa got on their free, the freakum dress. I will say both Molly and Issa looked amazing in that dress. Body for days in that dress, right? So... She changes the clothes, so she's like, yeah, I'm gonna go back to your place, and so she goes outside. <laughs> when she walked outside, this girl says, oh my God, you look like a model. She says, thank you. The nurse says, she's high. Surprise, surprise, right? So we see Nathan and Issa, because he picked her up, so they went back to Molly's place, right? He was like, Molly got a dog? She's like, Molly ain't got no dog, and it's Flavor Flav, right? <laughs> How did she forget about Flavor Flav? <laughs> So, um, where are we at? So we see them, um, we move back over to the hospital, right? So Molly's phone is blowing up at this point. I think at one point she got a text message from the random guy that she was right in his face. And then, you know, Tarian called her, right? And she was like, yeah, I'm not going to be able to come into work today. He's like, well, what about this? So Molly is working on this project. And in this scene, I was thinking to myself, like, Molly, why don't you tell him like your mama is in a hospital like like when my mom was in a hospital when, not even when she passed away because she had surgery a year prior to her passing away right and i was i took off the day to be with my mom in the hospital right and my boss kept calling me the whole like she literally called me the entire day and i i kid you not she called me she texted me and i'm like i am in the she and she here's the here's the interesting here's the here's the thing right <laughs> here's the thing so she woke me up because my mom's appointment wasn't until nine o'clock she didn't have to go to the hospital until nine i got woke up out of my sleep at seven o'clock in the morning <clears throat> because that's when the store opened it opened at open at 7 30. my boss wasn't used to opening the store because who opened the store every day i opened the store every day i closed the store every day and I would prep, you know, I would prep for the day before, I would prep for the next day. So this is when I was working for Hertz. I would prep for the next day, right? And um, that day before her surgery, I didn't prep at all. And it was actually her, it was actually her birth, my mom's birthday. So I didn't prep for, for the day. I was like, you know what? Let me get my, let me get, you know, when we close the store for the day, I was like, you know what? I gotta get my stuff. Let me get back down the highway to my mama. That's where my focus was that entire day. So woke up at seven, woke up at 7.30 to my phone going off. I'm like, what the hell? And she was like, Gerald, you know, I know you're dealing with your mom, but I need this, I need that. And I'm like, I'm you just preface it by saying, I'm with my mother. Why are you calling me? So I and and I was like, you know, I'll help you right for because I'm I'm like we don't have to go to the hospital until nine o'clock, so we good. So I just told you, you know, I'm like, it's stuff, you know, I put because I put stuff so that she could find it. So like it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, right? I told her where she could find everything at, right? But then throughout the course of the day, I'm in, you know, my mom's in surgery and I'm sitting in the waiting room with my two aunts. 
And they were like, Jerome, why is your phone going off? I'm like, that's her, my boss calling me. They were like, does she know about your mom? I'm like, she does. And, you know, I was, you know, and I just got pissed at one point. And when my mom finally came out of surgery, you know, my mom came too. And we were talking and she was like, so are you going back to work tomorrow? I'm like, I'm not. I'm like, and it's really pissing me off because I've been with you all day. You just had surgery on your heart. I'm like, I'm, I, I'm like, I'm thinking about quitting this job. And she was like, Jerome, don't quit that job. She's like, you know, mama is getting older and mama's not going to be here forever. So I want you to keep that job. If you got to find something else, do that. But don't quit your job because if you quit and come back home, I can't take care of you like that. And I like, I, I'm like, I don't need you to take care of me, but I'm like, I just don't want to. I'm like, I can't be around people that are that insensitive when you tell them about a family member. Like my mom had open heart. Like she had surgery on her heart. They put stents in her heart. And that scene right there kind of just took me back a little bit. I would have just told him my mom had a heart attack and like, I'm not, not a heart attack, but a stroke. And that, I mean, I, I'm going to do it, but... Yo, if you want to give, if you want to give it to somebody else, go ahead and give that project to somebody else. But I'm not gonna drop everything. My mother, the woman that gave birth to me, is in the hospital now. Mine didn't give birth to me, but she raised me. Like the fuck. But let's move on, you guys. I didn't mean to go off on that tangent. Sorry, you guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, let's pause here and move forward. All right, you guys, so we see Issa and Nathan. So they are out walking Flavor Flav, right? So Issa's mom called because Issa called her mom and left a message for her. Nathan did the same for his mother, right? So her mom was like, you know, I'm gonna I'm I'm be doing this book club on Sundays, you know, for about eight weeks. Um, what's your schedule looking like? So she's like, girl, who you keep looking? Because Issa, Issa's on FaceTime. She's like, who you keep looking at? Hi, I'm Nathan. Are you her boyfriend? Yeah, I am. I was like, oh. Oh, we deep, deep. Okay. So then Issa gets off the phone with her mom and she's like, you know, I think my mom and Stanley are going through some things because she's acting very weird and she needs to figure her stuff out. I'm like, hmm, the pot calling the kettle black, huh? So then over at the hospital, we see Molly, right? Molly is on WebMD. She's looking up this. She's looking up that. And the nurse is like, oh, you're one of those people, right? So they find out that her mother had a stroke before, but... Her mother and her father chose not to tell them about the stroke, right? <laughs> At one point in this episode, her aunt, when she was talking to that doctor about how she coughed, she's like, do you think it's cancer? I was dead. So then we see Nathan and Issa. So they're trying to find Flavor Flav because he ran away. But Nathan's like, you know, dogs are very smart. They typically, you know, he they, they, they leave a trail so they can follow him back, right? And if he's smart, he knows where he lives at, right? So then he tells her about a story about his dog when he was a kid and how kids in the neighborhood, I guess, let the dog out and him and someone else had to find a dog because if his, his dad told him, if people fuck with you, if, if you, he told him, don't let anyone fuck with you or I'll fuck you up or it's not. I'm like, damn, do parents actually say that to their kids? Like, damn. Because we saw that scene. We saw that scene. I saw that scene. I think it was in Power Book. Yeah. Power Book 3 with Rock and Canaan. Like, do people really say that to their kids? Like, if somebody fucks with you and you don't beat them up, I'm going to fuck with you. I'm going to fuck you up worse than they did. I would have hated to have a parent like that, right? So, where are we at? I'm trying to see. But he found a dog because the dog actually found his way back home. So then we see Molly. So Molly is with the doctor, right? The doctor comes in. And he tells her that, you know, her mother might be paralyzed after this stroke she had. And I was like, oh, shit, that is terrible. When I'm, I'm leaving. I'm missing something. I know I am. So the scene with her, because I, I don't forget where this was at. So sorry, you guys. But Molly, at one point in this episode, was having a conversation with her dad and her aunt. Right. And they were talking about, you know, the um, not the wheels their estates right they're still in the process of planning their estate i'm like wait y'all still in the process of doing it damn get on the road get on that one you guys have an attorney for a daughter utilize her right so then we see isa uh her and nathan they're outside of molly's apartment and flavor Flav shows up and she says thank you for being so patient with me that's why i love you 
oh, we going that far. So then we see Issa, she's back at the hospital with Molly. And, you know, she and Molly are talking and, you know, she realizes Molly is tired. She's like, you wanna go meet her, get some coffee? She's like, please. So she goes to get coffee and when she walks out, she, she and this nurse were having a little issue with the bed, but then she notices out her peripheral condiments and Lawrence. And that's actually where the episode ended, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell button so you guys are notified of when I drop anything else. Share the video and into the next one. Stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. Socially distance. Be blessed. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one.